Uh -huh. Welcome to see Calvary, Tanzania. Yeah. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Welcome for my country. Yeah, <laughs> Nisa Planet and Aquabia Caribuni, Tanzania. Asante sana. Kwa hereni. Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and thank you so much for always coming back and watch my videos. On today's episode we are in Cocoa Beach and we will be walking around seeing what the beach area is like and getting a real vibe of the place here in Dar es Salaam. Now Cocoa Beach is definitely one of the popular spots especially on weekends. You get a lot of families coming out here to you know relax socialize and there are a lot of food bars and shops around here where you can get food to eat so that's what makes it even more nice when you come out here to the ice uh, the cocoa beach so let me show you what i'm seeing right in front of me right now so you can get an idea of the place check out the vibe now you want to watch this video till the end because we will be really exploring this place today going near the beach and really getting a vibe of the place so off the bat one of the things you'll notice when you come here you're not you're not you're spoiled for choice in terms of food okay there's a lot of food places you can get you know nyamachoma cassava miskaki grilled chicken different things you can get all of that here and you can see right on this on or to my right they have something that says let's eat together so you can see immediately that um in terms of food places, there's quite a, a lot available. Very unique feature, actually. Um, if you travel uh, across the world, sometimes you might find some of the, sp the food spots separate from each other, but here they're, they're all near each other. So that's quite convenient for you. There's also parking available like right here if you are driving and you're bringing your car. So that's really nice. And it's a real chill vibe here on the beach. Very chill vibe. As they say in uh, Swahili, Hamna Shida, Hakuna Matata, you know, real nice vibe here. So I'm going to give you the real, I'm not going to hide anything from you. This is what you, you will expect to see when you, you come here. The water looks a bit rough. Not sure if you can, uh, there, are, there are some people actually swimming out there. And um, in the distance, I'm sure you can notice there are, some, there are actually some cargo ships that you can actually see. That's all cargo ships in the distance there. So this is the this is the beach guys. People are just playing, socializing, having a very good time. And right up here, if you was to come here, you can see where you can um sit down and eat, have a drink with your friends, you know. This is where you can come and do so and enjoy the sunset especially in the evening. So this is the vibe here. So Twendeni, let's go. Let's let's walk some more and get a vibe of this beach here. Coco Beach. Now to get to this beach is definitely very accessible. You can of course get an Uber. Coco Beach, you can put that on the Uber. You can get a uh, border border more and that they come here as well. You can also get a bajaji or some people know it as a tuk-tuk. So all of those modes of transport, you can get it to come here. So that's very convenient for all those who are coming here. Mambo, salama. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, YouTube. Ah, yeah, YouTube, YouTube video, yeah, YouTube live. Ah, Saimba live kwa guitar unaweza kuimba ukaturusha hiyo. Yeah, kweli kabisa. Ni na ni na tembea tu, Umesahau bonde milima ya kale oh, oh, oh. usiwe kama wale mina wewe mapacha sale sale oh, oh, oh. kasuku ndege wangu mututu uwe tamu yangu kasuku Ndege wangu mututu uwe tamu yangu nimepata kamwali toka Zanzibar kanilambisha asali oh, oh, oh. eh hey, hongera sana hongera sana <laughs> unaitwa nani bwana eh hey, bwana mimi naitwa Niza Planet yeah Niza Planet Instagram okay. Yeah. Niza Planet Instagram. Niza Planet. Yeah, yeah. So guys, I'm gonna put it up there. Check him out. Niza Planet. Katika Instagram. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Go ahead, it. Fresh, yeah. Eh, eh, eh. So, so many Kariburi Tanzania. Yeah, Kariburi Tanzania. Just welcome to see Kariburi Tanzania. Kariburi Tanzania. Welcome for my country. Yeah, Niza Planet and Kwambia Kariburi Tanzania. Asante sana. Kwa hereni. So this is the vibe here on the beach here at Coco Beach. That guy is a singer there and he was just showcasing his talents. So definitely check him out on the Instagram. I'm going to put it up in the description below this video. So it's really nice, guys. I'm telling you, you know, it's a, especially in the evening times. So the sun is not too hot. It's really, you can come, you can maybe spread like a blanket or something like that. And just come out and relax, you know. If you could, you could come with your family, you could come with a wife, you know, your girlfriend or whatever, friends. Nice vibe here. Yeah, yeah, live, live. YouTube live. Mambo vipi, ndogo? Poa. So. So you can see here on the beach, look at these ladies here, they're just here chilling, relaxing. The water is definitely coming in and it's a, it's a nice vibe here. Nice vibe here on the beach. I'm liking it. I'm liking it, guys. So let me know what you guys think of the beach so far here. Coco Beach. What's your thoughts on the beach? I mean, you do get a nice view of the place. That's what I like about it. You know, some beaches across the world you may go there could be quite secluded but if you look at this beach here as far as the eyes can see you do get a view of the place you know all over there you get a view of the place so it's really nice you know yeah 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 this is So I'm giving you the live, I'm giving you very good content, so whenever you're in Tanzania, definitely make Coco Beach 
one of the places that is on your itinerary for visiting. And there's like two sides to it actually. So where we started, you, that's like the beginning part of the, the beach. And you get a lot of the, you know, those small shops there that sell in different foods and drinks. And then if you go that, uh, where we're walking towards right now, you'll see more bigger restaurants down there. More live music is being played. But I've got to be careful with the music because of uh, copy, copyright reasons. But it's a good vibe, guy. All right. Have a look at what I'm seeing right now. Enjoy the view, people. You're right here with me. To now, where's up Amoja? Together we can. We're enjoying this vibe today. Okay, someone is exercising there. Skipping, so if you want to come and get, get a, your exercise game on, you can do that here. There's also horse riding. I saw someone with a horse not too long ago, which is good. So, coming further up on the beach here, you can see there's a guy that's, uh, that provides uh, mambo. Yeah, that provides horse riding. So you can definitely get your horse riding game when you come to this beach here. And you can see people are, there's a lot of young people out. People are just swimming, having a good time. Mambo Vipi. Salama. Yeah, people are just out here. Swimming, they, they, they got the um, swimming tubes out as well. So it's a real nice, peaceful vibes, guys. Definitely, I'm liking it. You have to be here to experience it. Words cannot describe the tran tranquil and peaceful atmosphere here at the beach. And what's, a, what's an amazing thing I like about this beach as well? You get a lot of uh, locals who come out here to, of course, socialize. So you get to meet local Tanzanians if you were to come this beach as well. You know, some beaches in Tanzania, you have to actually pay to get on them and kind of restricts you in terms of maybe meeting more people. But this, uh, this beach here, Coco Beach, you don't have to pay to come here. It's, it's free and um, yeah, so uh, good, good, good variety of people come to this beach. So it's a nice vibe, you know, you can network here. To my left, this guy is actually selling tea. You'll notice this when you visit Tanzania. You see a lot of tea guys walking around and you just call them out and they'll serve you a cup of tea. They'll wait for you until you finish drinking. And then, yeah, that's it. They're on their way. The sea is not that rough today, actually, at all. Quite nice. And December, the schools, the schools here in Tanzania are nearly closed. So very soon, you'll even see more young people, even families and other people from the diaspora coming in to visit to enjoy this tranquil vibes here in Tanzania So how are you enjoying the, this beach vlog today? Tell me if you would like more of these type of vlogs. Would you like to see different beaches here in Tanzania? Definitely let me know, guys. I do appreciate your feedback in terms of the content that you would like. So I do value what you think. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll provide the content for you as much as I can with some of the things you like to see.
So this guy is selling like ice lollies and stuff like that, ice, ice cream, right from here, that's his hustle here. And right up here, let me see if I could get you a, a closer view. This is like a bar and you can come out here and have a drink and listen to the ocean crash on the, sh on the, on the, on the shores. So it's a really nice vibe. You do get a lot of um, people from different countries, people from the diaspora, they'll come out here and relax as well. So you do get an, an international crowd coming these sites. I'm sure you'll notice uh, where we were walking previously there wasn't as much seaweed but as you come further down you'll see quite a lot in comparison to where we were before but nevertheless it's still a good vibe guys it's still a good vibe So I'm going to end the vlog here guys. I do trust that you have enjoyed today's episode and I appreciate your time. So do consider liking, sharing the video with all your friends and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. My name is Wemba Imani and thank you for watching Inspire for Travel. Until next time, peace.